Rex, exploring the maritime history of El Salvador's Pacific waters. Embark on an underwater journey through time, delving into how the Pacific Ocean has silently claimed vessels off the coast of El Salvador. One ship left an indelible mark on a dedicated diver, Pocho equals SS Douglas. Jose Roberto Suarez resting in peace, was affectionately called El Pocho, a true pioneer. In Thefile do Thunderwater Archaeology, Antoni Gaudi dedicated much of his life to La Sagrada Familia. In a unique twist, El Pocho followed in his footsteps, except his temple lay beneath the waves, revealing the name SS Douglas. He was never alone on this extraordinary voyage. Despite his remarkable achievements, El Pocho remained humble and disliked excessive attention. His legacy endures a gift to all of humanity. Thankfully, new blood now graces this field. Names like Marlon Escamilla, Roberto Gallardo, and Herbert Urquiza stand out. El Salvador has nurtured its own talent producing over 40 in-house archaeologists since 1995. Underwater archaeology has made significant strides, documenting numerous shipwrecks, yet countless others remain hidden beneath the waves. Salvadoran literature boasts published works with intricate and precise details. Currently, there are approximately 10 registered wrecks. The image above showcases El Lanchon at La Libertad Pier with Tito Ventura inspecting the gunnel. In the past, small boats transported passengers and cargo to the pier since large vessels couldn't dock directly. Similar boats were used at the Acajutla port, as depicted in image. 2. Apple 12. The visibility along our shoreline isn't as generous as in other oceans, which complicates the task of investigation. Who can fathom how many wrecks rest in the depths of El Golfo de Fonseca? Conditions in that area are even more challenging. I'll be adding more information in the literature section. Be sure to subscribe to my blog for additional stories.